That is obviously the hope, but even the chief medical officer has said that a vaccination programme in and of itself is not going to be enough to end educational disruption. And I think where we are now is that disruption to education is a political choice. It's not a medical inevitability. Children are not at risk from COVID. Teachers are at no more risk than anybody else. Teachers have been jabbed. We know that schools aren't hotbeds of, of transmission. All the evidence shows that. So there is actually no medical or scientific reason now where there should be any disruption in schools. So vaccine or no vaccine, that has to come to an end. And I think one of the things that is driving uh, the restrictions in school and the fear of restrictions is this mass vaccination, pro uh, sorry, mass testing programme right. where we're testing millions of asymptomatic children twice a week. Why? The, you know, the health secretary has said that case numbers are no longer important. Why are we testing healthy children? Doesn't it just drive up absence rates? Do you think that that might come to an end? Do you get any sense from your, your party, uh, the government, the executive in your party, that they might stop that twice a week testing? Well, it's certainly under review, I think, at the end of this month. But I, no, I don't have any steer, although I very much hope that uh, many of us on the back benches who have made that point, uh, that our views have been heard. Um, so, I mean, Professor Finn from the JCVI said... The decision on whether to vaccinate 12 to 15 year olds is not black and white, so echoing what you said, adding that while it's not essential for them to have a coronavirus, it is also perfectly sensible for them to do so. That's quite a lot for a parent to take in, I thought, when I read that. Exactly, and I think that that's what we need to be very clear about now. This is not, this is a very nuanced decision. They're very finely balanced risks, and it's perfectly acceptable, it's perfectly reasonable for a parent to choose to have their child vaccinated. It's perfectly reasonable for them to choose not to have their uh, child vaccinated. And actually, we need to move forward respecting those decisions and not being judgmental about other people's health decisions, which I think has been a big problem over the last 18 months. Uh, and just to be calm and reasonable about it and not to discriminate against anyone based on their personal health choice.